questions to this point? You have questions? No? Well, maybe we can answer these questions then. Why does Hobbes compare language to accounting? Okay. Um, um, it's not so much a one-to-one -one correspondence, I think. Um, he's he's recognizing that a, you know so. so um, I mean, wh wh he, ta he talks about this unconstancy of words where you can interpret each word in many different ways. So there's actually not the one-to-one -one correspondence so much. Um, yes? Yes, okay, so that's one thing, that, that uh, the, the numbers allow you to process things, right? Um, and, and, and language allows you to process things, yes? Okay, so, so okay, that's, th that's good. So one thing is that in accounting, you've, you've reduced some, something in the world into a number. Um, and in, in language, you're also re you're reducing a kind of multiplicity into a word. Um, I mean, with accounting, for instance, you know, if you have, you, know, you have like a, a number somewhere, I don't know, 25 in your accounting books, it's, it's a number, but it's also, it's representing a thing in the world, right? So it might be the 25 represents, like, you know, I don't know, 25 Toyota Camrys sitting in a warehouse, right? And you've basically, those 25 Toyota Camrys, it reduces to a number, 25, right? Inventory, 25, right? So you've reduced something in the world into a number, right? Um, and that's the same process he's talking about with language. And, and it's, yeah, it's, it's the same kind of process where you've got something in the world and you've reduced it into a word. And that something in the world is very, you know, it's amorphous. It has no definition until you've uh, reduced it to a word, right? So, so that's, you know, that's the kind of relationship with, is, is in order to have, to be able to uh, enter something into your bookkeeping books, you have to be able to reduce it into a number, right? Um, and that's also the, you know, and that's also the difference between accounting and language, right? Because for, account, for accounting to work, anything in the world has to be reducible to a number, right? But there's obviously lots of things in the world, you know, like, you know, the beauty of a painting, you can't reduce it to a number, so you can't obviously um, put it into an, a, a bookkeeping system. But you can put it into a, a language system, um, because language is not depending, dependent on, on being able to reduce something to a number, it's dependent on being able to reduce something to a word. So, you know, there's that difference, right? But there's, there's a parallel, uh, because you're, you're, you're carrying out that same process of reducing something to uh, a kind of format that's, that can fit into this system, right? So it could be a numbering system in accounting. It has to be reducible to a number. Um, in language, it has to be reducible to a word, right? But that doesn't, you know, um, words aren't, I guess numbers are words too, I suppose, but um, that's not the only thing that language can integrate. I mean, it, it, words can integrate lots of things that are not reducible to numbers. Okay, does, does that make sense? Does that clear up, yeah? What are the five different categories of names according to Hobbes? Yeah? Uh, names of things. Names of, of, of matter, he says, right? Things, yes. Uh, names of qualities. Names of qualities, yeah. Uh, fancies. Fancies. Uh, negatives. Negatives. Right, and yeah, negatives and names of names. Right, so right, so names of matter, names of qualities, um, names of fancies. Names of names, or, or sort of words that, that are that has as their category other words, other types of words, and then negatives. Right. So those are the f five types of words that he uh, classes of, of words that he identifies. Right. Um, and what are some of the problems of language according to Hobbes? Yes. I'm sorry. You yeah, define something incorrectly. Right. Good. Yes. Okay, different people can have different definitions of the same thing. Okay, that's a problem, right? That's 
upsets the, the unity, the constancy of language. Other problems? Yes? Okay, different words can be interpreted differently by different people and also interpreted differently by the same person on a, on a different day, right? Okay. Uh, yes? Okay, so you can put together a contradictory term, right? This, you know, this uh, inblown virtue or, or the the, the round quadrangle, right? Something that can't exist even, right? That's, that's, self, that's self contradictory. And he says, well, you know, this doesn't make sense. You know, why this is a problem, right? <laughs> if, we, if we start using these types of terms, right? And then in general, any kind of metaphor he's kind of suspicious of, right? Metaphors are always, you know, overtly um, putting together things that don't belong together, right? Um, and he says, well, He's, he's kind of giving metaphors a pass because at least they're upfront about that, right? They're not, they're not presenting themselves as if they were putting together things that belong together. They're, they're, um, um, you know, they're, they're obviously uh, putting together things that don't belong to each other, all right? Okay, so I think, you know, that's, that's in general, I mean, I think uh, we've gone through the Hobbes reading now, um, and, I, and I just want to sort of make sure, so, so you've got kind of an example of how we're going through these texts, which is to say, we're going through them very carefully, right? Um, I'm giving you very short readings, um, but I, I expect you to read through them very carefully several times, right? I mean, you know, the, the Hobbes was really like eight pages or something like that, um, but you should have read through them several times. The, the same is going to be the case with the Warburton, um, where the, the reading is kind of strange and dense, right? And there's... And and unfortunately, it's a, this is an old edition. This is all, I could, all there is is this old edition. So, so some of the Fs are Ss. So you've got to keep track of that, right? Some, every time you see an F, you've got to decide, is that an F or is that an S, right? Sorry about that, but that's just the way, the way it is, okay? Um, so the Warburton is not long, uh, but please try and read it over. And read the footnotes. The footnotes are very important in the Warburton, okay?